everybody, welcome to the Jimmy Dore Show. I'm here with the miserable liberal. Ron Placone is here. Let me see. I like how pretty they look together. <laughs> Hello. Look how nice they look, huh? We got to get something behind that. White. Where's a white wall there? We're going to fix that and make it look nicer. Uh, what are we talking about today? So uh, Trump put the Muslim ban or the ban on uh, people from certain Muslim countries, not Saudi Arabia, <laughs> but um, and so there's been a lot of tweet. A lot of people been doing that. Oh, I, all those people who uh, didn't vote for Hillary. I hope you're happy now. Uh. Again, I said it before in another video. So you're cool with the bombing. Just not the banning them at the airports. The banning them at the airports, you got to be some kind of a monster to ban people at the airport. Bombing them in their own country, that's what good Christians do. <laughs> but once they get here, you're supposed to let them in. So what would it have taken for those people to get upset? I guess, so if, if Barack would have bombed them and banned them? <laughs> so if he's not, so would he have to, so would Barack Obama literally have to bomb them at the JFK? So if Barack Obama bombed those those people that creates the fugit uh, the refugees, if Barack Obama would bomb them at the airport, then people would be upset. <laughs> the logic on these people is out. Of, it's it's un well. Here's a here's a. So there's this guy Peter Dow. You know who Peter Dow is he's that unbelievable knucklehead who his his shame meter is broken. So they did a uh, a parody account of him. They call him Peter D Douche. So you see Bill Maher tweeted out, with those who called Hillary lesser of two evils, admit how wrong you were. Fuck no. Huh. She did Iraq. Where do you think these refugees are coming from? Libya, Iraq, Syria. Fuck no am I going to admit I was wrong. Can you admit that you're a billionaire, you're a millionaire who's out of touch and you're cool with neoliberalism? Are you cool? It, so that's so. So you're cool with bombing them. Totally cool with bombing the Muslim countries, but you're not cool with barring them once they get here. And so Peter, I love Peter Deuce says, thanks, Bill. Hillary's inspiring lesser, lesser evil campaign almost worked. Let's do it again. Hillary 2020, not quite as evil. <laughs> so it's reverse. So Bill should be saying the funny thing. Instead, he's not. He's saying the thing that doesn't make any sense. And again, I love Bill Maher. I think he does a great show. Like I love, I read his book, uh, True story. I, I think he, you know, I like a lot of things that this is again, this is the so a lot of people falling into this trap on the left. It's not just Bill Maher. It's most people I know. And that makes absolutely no sense. That makes. Oh, look, who? <laughs> how wrong were you? Muslim ban, Betsy DeVos, Pruitt, Perry in charge of nukes. Guess who's voting all those people in? The Democrats. Bill Maher, of all people, that's surprising because he's always known to, like, be the contrarian. Like, he always identifies as a libertarian. I don't know why. I, he's, I, he's a mainstream Democrat now. He yeah. Remember he gave a million dollars to Barack Obama in 2012? No criticism of the, uh, how he handled Occupy Wall Street or he didn't break up the banks. and he, The Afghanistan war going strong through his whole goddamn president. Not, not, no criticism. And that's what this is. That's his, oh, come on, Hillary's great. Hillary is what's wrong with this country. And you, you, th you don't know how we got Trump. These are the people who still don't understand how we got Trump. They're still angry at Bernie bros, probably. These are Those are those people, right, Ron? Am I well, wrong? Well, yeah, they're the people that say, like, it's pointless to say that Bernie would have won, but way to not support Hillary. It's like, well, you're doing – how are you not being counterproductive then? If, if, if talking about how we could have maybe won this thing by having an actual populist, maybe that could have won, maybe that wouldn't have. But how is that counterproductive? But then, like, shaming people for not getting behind Hillary, isn't that just as counterproductive? I would agree. Hey, how about getting angry at the DNC, Donna Brazil, and Debbie Wasserman Shield? for screwing over Bernie that gave us Trump. Not, not, I guess still no anger at that. No anger at the real progressive, the guy who spoke up for workers. No anger at the GAT guy being screwed over. That's just so weird. All the weird me mental gymnastics people have to do to still be angry at you for not supporting a corporatist warmonger who brought us Trump. So good for you, Peter. I love that. Thanks, Bill. Hillary's inspiring lesser evil campaign <laughs> almost worked. Let's do it again. Hillary 2020. Not quite as evil. And here's one more. Thomas Paine. I love Thomas Paine. <laughs> Hillary saw her shadow today. That means six more weeks of blaming everyone for losing her election.
Everyone except for themselves and Democrats. Everyone except so, for uh, yeah. everyone. They didn't have enough characters to throw that in there, but it, it wasn't, wasn't a, It wasn't Barack Obama overseeing an eight years of nonstop war in Afghanistan and Iraq and nonstop. <laughs> no, it wasn't that. It wasn't. Again, it's it's it's. I'm sure it's got. Uh, it's me. It's the it's the Green Party. It's all the people with all the money and power that they're angry. That's a little unprogressive. That's a little. That's how you can smell a fake lefty when they're angry at people with no money and no power. <laughs> that's pretty interesting. So uh, there you go. That's fantastic. You want to add anything to that? Again, it's not stopping. So people are keep telling me, Jimmy, don't you think it's time to just focus on Trump? Why? So we can put back in place the thing that got us fucking Trump, the thing that's just as bad as Trump. That's why we keep pointing this stuff out. People who were in a sleep for the last eight years have no idea what's been going on in this goddamn country. They have no idea that people can't afford their medicine, that half the country's poor, that even when Barack Obama and the Democrats controlled the whole goddamn government, they still gave us a right wing health care plan fucking anyway. So does this drive you crazy as it drives me when people say stuff like that? Like, oh, the, 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 oh, are you guys going to admit you were wrong? That somehow you're still not upset that a situation, a, a, a system that gave us a shit sandwich with a shit frosting on top and another shit sandwich. You're not angry at that. Again, you're still angry at people who won't fucking vote for a warmonger who screws over workers. Why won't you vote for a warmonger who screws over workers? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you that you're angry at people who are standing up against this fucking crooked system instead of being angry at the goddamn crooked system? What's wrong with you? Well, I'll <laughs> say this, too. I, I know that this is just a parody account, but um, if... Hillary were to run in 2020 I don't think she is but there has been like some grumblings if she were to run in 2020 she is officially the most selfish politician maybe ever in the history of American politics and that, that's saying a lot um I think that's already official <laughs> <laughs> what will be confirmed without a doubt do people uh, yeah so what... well I heard that her shadow isn't as evil as Hillary <laughs> is. <laughs> I heard. yeah yeah Okay, so um, fantastic. Again, still not angry at the Democratic Party for running the most flawed, hated candidate in history. They ran a candidate who lost to fucking Trump. And you're still angry at people who, who also don't like her. <laughs> That's how crazy things are. This is how crazy things are have gotten. Still, people still want to. Please, can't we start ignoring the problem? And you know what, Jimmy? You know when you, when you're talking about this, and you know uh, they, you know Bill Maher mentions, you know Betsy DeVos and everybody else that every single Democrat has gone ahead and cast their vote in support. That's right? exactly I mean, right. They're supporting these these people all the time. So the people you voted for are now voting for the people you're upset about. They're they're voting for Betsy DeVos, that Pruitt, Rick Perry, Carson, Ben Carson. They're voting to support. This is your resistance. The Senate is going right along with Trump's cabinet picks, and they're going to go along with the Supreme Court. The bunch of Democrats already pledged up. Joe Manchin. Didn't yeah. didn't uh, Elizabeth Warren even support uh, the, uh, Ben Carson? Yes, Elizabeth she, Elizabeth ah! Elizabeth Warren vo uh, voted to confirm Ben Carson because she was afraid something worse might come along. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the resistance! <laughs> I don't even know how they could try to make that argument for the Supreme Court pick. I don't know like, what like, well, something worse could come like only if emperors are real only if the characters in Star Wars movies were actually real could something worse come along Well they're saying that they don't want to get rid of the what well, we're going to do I'll talk about that story in another story but they're like well we can't get rid of the filib if we filibuster this they'll just get rid of it <laughs> So what's the point of having a filibuster if when you want to use it you can't use it <laughs> They're like oh, well that's another thing but it's just again Yes, Trump is the pro is a problem, is a problem. He's only been a problem for a week so far. All that shit before that, again, people totally cool with bombing seven different Muslim countries. But we ran out of bombs in Syria, even though the country's against all these wars. We're against it. Nobody wanted to bomb Syria the first time, and then they didn't even ask us the second time. They just went and did it. 
So we live in a police state. Barack Obama expanded their surveillance state. He gave the power for the CIA to now spy on us as he walked out the door. He gave another bailout to Blackstone, uh, of ec private equity firm, which screws over first-time home buyers and keeps rents and housing prices artificially inflated. This is all. So again, we can't. Again, I know people are are very weak, weak, and most people on the left are weak. And they, please, can we stop talking about what the real problem is so we can focus on Donald Trump? Because that's easier for my brain. We got to do both things at once. We got to be able to do two things at once. And and the kind of bullshit where you fucking castigate people for not going along with the problem is also still the problem. Yeah, you know, it's a cliche, but it is so because it's really true. If we don't learn from history, we're doomed to repeat it. Uh, couldn't have said it better myself. Hey, the next live Jimmy Dore show is February 20th. That's a Monday night in Burbank, California at Flappers Comedy Club. That's February 20th, Monday night. They've been selling out two weeks ahead of time. So get your tickets. There's a link for tickets right there. See you February 20th in Burbank, California.